Hello, 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 everyone. I am Sasscross, and tonight I am going to be playing the Democracy 4 for the first time. It went on sale, I think, yesterday or the day before, and I decided that I wanted to buy it because it was on the wish list. It's a game about running your own country, and if you know me, you know that's a fascination of mine for whatever reason. We don't really know why. It's something that I want to do, but one day, one day maybe. Uh, tonight's going to be a very, very short stream because it is nine o'clock, and usually I only stream for a few hours earlier in the night because I have to wake up in the morning at six o'clock. Uh, so tonight's going to be super short, maybe like an hour, if that. I don't really know yet. Don't really know yet, but. One thing that you should probably know is I am doing an 18-hour stream on Saturday, starting at 9 a.m. 9 a.m. until 3 a.m. Sunday morning. We're playing a whole lot of games. We're working on the schedule right now. We're going to be doing a whole lot of giveaways. I am super excited about it. The chat wanted it. They bought it with their channel points, and so here I am doing an 18-hour stream. Excited? No, I really, I really am excited. I did just realize that I do not have my um thing plugged in so that you can actually see. So I'm gonna go to the break screen for just a moment while I get that plugged in. Be right back. I'm back. Sorry about that. Not really sure where to put myself yet, so I'm just going to kind of leave myself right there in that lower corner. But let's just let's just jump in. Let me look at some options first cuz you know, options are important. Turn down that music volume for sure. Um What is the difference between Peter and Ava? Okay, you know what? Yeah, we're just going to leave it at. Oh, okay. So that's real bright. All right, so let's just jump in here. I did forget, of course, to unmute my PC. And we got some music now. Yay! All right, new game. So, we are going to start, I guess, with the United States of America seems good and the music is very presidential i kind of like this 
Um, but I may have to turn it back down a little bit more. Uh, the United States is the world's third or fourth largest country by total area and the third most populous country in the world. Americans are a racially and ethnically diverse population that has been shaped through centuries of immigration. The United States is a federal republic and a representative democracy. It is a founding member of the United Nations, World Bank, International Monetary Fund, and NATO. The USA is a permanent member of the United Nations Security Council. Here's our information, so that's fun. National Anthem, the Star Spangled Banner, which we heard they got it yesterday. Um, biggest industry is real estate, I can see that. Alright, so, players party, so my party, what are we going to call ourselves? I like the new technocrats, is that a thing? I want to be a new technocrat, because that's kind of techno-environmentalist, that's kind of what I like to do too. Um, let's see, let's see. Um, I think the National Technocrats. Opposition Party. Um, the Dominion. And we're gonna give them a blue. I'm gonna give myself purple, because, you know, Sassafras is purple. Uh, and then we'll do, um, kind of one of the far... The Dominion seems kind of far right, so let's do super far left sounding um let's see I don't think that you really get much more um so the dominion uh, okay so let's not do that one so let's do like um The Socialist Revolutionary Party. Compulsory voting. I think that compulsory voting should be a thing, so we're going to do that one. Um, we'll go with three parties, because we're going to see how difficult that's going to be versus our current two-party system that we have here in America with the left Democrats and the right Republicans. Uh, we'll leave this kind of there. Um innate socialism, innate liberalism, uh, political apathy, 50%, I don't even know what any of these things mean. We'll change this to green, though. Actually, we'll change it to, so the Dominion record will change to red. And then to blue, since we can kind of, I can kind of remember left versus right in that sense. So we have the the left leaning is the Socialist Revolutionary Party, and the right leaning is the Dominion, which is the colors from uh, our current party, I suppose, or our current party system. I don't know. Um, so let's just hit play. Tweeting random policy ideas. Adding bureaucracy. Congratulations on your elector. And uh, wow. Congratulations on your election victory. Welcome to your new job as president. The lives of all 328 million citizens are now in your hands. As you will imagine, there are a number of situations and concerns that you need to that you will need to deal with as soon as possible while keeping an eye on the long-term improvement of our citizens' quality of life. Plus, do not forget that you face re-election in four years, so you will need to monitor opinion polls and our party membership. Good luck. Thanks. Okay. So we have our chief of staff up there. Uh, he's going to show us how things work. Uh, in the re at the recent election, your party won with a ma with a majority of ten percent. What? That seems off. But okay. Oh, maybe maybe it's it's a majority, like of like sixty percent. So it's like the majority plus ten percent. I hope God. This will give you some political power to implement your policies. Let's begin our term. All right. So this is the main screen. From here, you can survey the current state of your country. It may look complex, but all the different components work in very similar ways. 
The icons represent different objects in the economy or society, including policy laws, voter groups, and values for important concepts such as health and education levels of our citizens. Click the next button. Okay, so these strips on the left side of the screen represent groups of voters, the colored progress bars indicating how happy they are with your government. The lighter area behind the text shows the percentage of our electorate that is in each of these groups. One of the key concepts of Democracy 4 is to understand that individual voters can be members of many different voter groups at once, and the extent to which they identify with those groups in it is in itself variable. You will never get all of these voter groups to entirely approve you, approve of you, as some are opposites. Cool. So these little icons are my policies, each of the game that some already implemented, but most can be cancelled and many can be added. They can be adjusted. Um, policies are the primary way you do things. The blue icons represent statistical data relevant to your country. Um, GDP, crime, education. Uh, you can affect statistical data only indirectly through policy decisions. Like other icons, you will find them in different zones, depending. Okay, cool. Situations. Situations. All right. Uh, red or green background situations. These are ongoing events taking place in your country that may be going well, green, or badly red. You can encourage good situations and prevent or fix bad ones by your policy choices. Okay. Policies, um, oh, oh, okay, hovering over any of these icons will show you how, show how influence flows between them, with the green being a positive effect, red being negative, the speed of the flow also shows the strength of this effect. Experiment with this, alright, so we have, um, so respiratory disease, uh, has a negative effect on parents. Uh, car usage has a positive effect on it? To oh, okay, so these are things that are contributing to it. And uh, it is lowering parental things, bad for the environment, and it is lower on productivity, and it increases health care demand. Okay, so what is this? Income tax increases equality and it increases happiness of socialists. But it decreases middle income, something up there. Uh, it decreases the happiness of the wealthy. Decreases GDP, decreases poor earnings, which is a good thing. Uh, decreases high earnings, I guess also a good thing. Decreases middle earnings. Everybody getting decreases, I guess. Uh, cryptocurrency adoption is lowered because of it. And so is charity giving, okay. Okay, so that's, okay, cool, that's cool. Voters, let's take a look at the specific group of voters, okay. Middle income. Windows shows detailed information on a specific group of voters. Each voter, each group of voters, a different way, okay. They are currently unhappy. They are highly trusting, which is their cynicism. Okay, inputs. Um, okay, so this is how they green is a good, red the bad. Uh, those may change over time with policies. Okay, cool. You can click on an individual one to see their full of the. Okay. Oh, and you can see in the background. Oh, I'm pointing at my screen like you can see where I'm pointing at. You can see in the background that it's affecting things. Okay. Uh, you probably notice the effects too. The two different options: the slider, the current darker effect, and the effect the slider in the new position. Yeah. So this is a. Um, this must be a turn-based, a turn-based type of simulation game, which is something that I do enjoy. I mean, I do like um, Civ and. A few others. So it's time to go. So let's just click on one of the situations. Um, top of the chart. 
Shows the actual strength of the situation over time. Two triggers. The higher trigger is the value that actually triggers the situation to take effect. The lower trigger deactivates the situation. As a result, it's easier to trigger a situation than it is to stop it. Okay. Uh, so let's look at any of the statistical button strains. This shows a uh, national statistic, like a situation that has causes an effect. Be aware that some statistical values are good things that we want high, like health, and others are bad things that we want low, such as crime. Makes sense. Political capital. Pay attention to this. This is your political capital. This thing here. Um, it represents the amount of support your government has to get things done. You have a limited amount of political capital per turn. Each turn is a quarter of a year. When you run out, you need to end the turn to get more. Some political capital can be carried over the next turn, but not all. Click on the icon for details. Um, political capital is used when you adjust policies. Okay. Different policies are blah, blah, blah. Generated by ministers. So, ministers for those uh, Americans that are watching uh, is the same thing as a cabinet member for the president, so like Secretary of Defense. Okay. Click on the new policy button. Citizenship for sale. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see the divide into categories. Okay, cool. Select the policy and then click on the button border wall. Oh, do the lack of political capital. Oh, okay. Uh, tourism ad campaign, uh, import tariffs, diplomatic service, citizenship for sale. Um, I feel like that's gonna probably. cost the least, yeah. Uh, this is a policy you just implement. You trust the a slider. Some policies take time to implement, which means it take a while for they are fully operational. Uh, close the top right. This is the quarterly report. It will highlight some key indicators, plus some of the other information you need. Urgent development may appear. Uh, okay, so this is my quarterly report. This seems kind of cool. Um, there is an urgent policy question that requires your immediate attention. Situation M in our data showing that we have a potentially bad situation with drug addiction. <laughs> Ooh. Um, budget report, running a budget deficit of 58.82 billion. Not bad, considering. Um, our last poll puts it at 3% of the vote in an election. Um. Okay. Vladimir Putin, I know myself. I myself know some people who are gay. We're on friendly terms. I am not prejudiced in any way. Vladimir Putin. Excellent. Thank you. Okay, so... Okay, quick tutorial. So, I can click on this. So, there is an approval to outlaw. There's a proposal to outlaw. This would remain legal to advertise on billboards. A TV ban is seen as a potential way to produce smoking. Um, I mean, we don't have them now. I mean, I think that that's... I think that's fair. So this is our drug addiction. We are this is our start value, this is our stop trigger, this is our value here. So we need to figure out a way to curb drug addiction. Here's our budget. Cool. Subsidy Sam. Oh shit, I didn't mean to do that. Alright, so we have 26 things of political capital right now. Fantastic. This is welfare, foreign policy, transportation, law and order, public services, tax, and economy. Okay.
But it's on beating. Okay, so let's look at this. Oh, here's our start trigger. Here's oh wow, oh wow. Okay, so let's look at some things. The things that help or that make it go down uh, are parents and the. Okay, so those are statistics. So what about like? So what if we? Uh, so these are public services. What is this? State health service. Okay. Um. Okay. So we want to be able. So we'll understand. See, these are all statistics that we are working with. Okay. So tobacco usage. Okay, okay, okay. Um, cause this to go up. Healthcare demand and car usage. So, what if. Um, Alright, so what if we up the major operations here? Because this is going to cost me six global capitals. So I think that if we do like right at the six, so it's going to cost us an extra $52 billion. Supply that. Confirm using some of my capital, okay. Um, so hopefully that's gonna help that a little bit. I don't, I, I, I don't, I don't know. If, if you play this and you're watching, feel free to help. <laughs> uh, not too much though, because I do want to figure it out on my own. All right. So what are our other? So our another big thing. Oh, what is my security briefing? It is your intelligent briefing room. We monitor a number of organizations. Some of them are relatively harmless. They connect as gateways in the more extremist, dangerous groups, so we can keep an eye on their membership. Okay. Dang. No curfews, uh, intelligent services, ID cards. Okay, so we're not doing great there. Um, so we don't want to. We don't want curfews. Um, I think ID cards. Ban homosexuality. Damn. Okay, so let's look at this. All right, so these are our different policies that we can do. Um, healthy eating, healthcare vouchers, free parenting, um, free eye test, drug treatment. Now we do know that uh, drug treatment is a big thing that's coming up. So we should probably have something about this. Um, let's see. Wow. There's just so many dang policies. Alright, so let's just close that. Um, so, okay. So these are my polls. Okay, I know what polls are. Um... This is expenditures, okay, so we know this is basic bar graph right now. Um, stability, efficiencies, okay, goodness. <laughs> so 
the parents. I love this ending. <laughs> I think I think a few of my friends can probably relate to this really really well. The extent to which voters consider themselves primarily parents will depend on how many children they have and how young they are. Those with large young families will be. Oh, I'm sorry, Kai. Will be extremely sensitive to issues. Okay. Okay, so what if, all right, so we have, um, so let's look at some of this. So pollution controls. I was going to cost me one. Um, So we'll do that. We're just going to up that just a little bit. Um, work safety law. Um, so what are our other issues? Our other key issues here? Um, okay, no. Um, my cabinet ministers will... We'll, no. Not right now! Oh, there's my quarter. Okay. Um, infatuation drug use is in the R. So drug drug addictions that we need to work on here. Um, so let's go back and let's find that drug addiction. Oh, I think I can just do it from here. Um, causes unemployment, state health service, private health care. So. Um, narcotics. Should drugs such as cannabis and heroin be legalized? Supporters suggest that it is the crime that they find that cause problems in legalizing narcotics to reduce the crime. Okay, so if we legalize cannabis, what was it, 16? Ooh, I only have 18, so we can't really, I uh, can't, so we're just gonna close. Um, What if we work on unemployment? Oh, that's a that's a lot to work on. Okay. So as much as I don't want this to be, you know, the reason why, but let's just go ahead and, and put ourselves up a little bit more on community policing. We don't have to use any political capital for it. Prison overcrowding. Um, okay. I just hate that that costs so much. Um, and let's go ahead and bump up our actual police force. Um, Oh good, look at that, look at that, look at that. So we're, so we're not at the drug addiction any longer. Oh, okay. Um, and so... We don't think armed policing. I push it all the way up. All right, so we should be okay there. We have 14 more points uh, that we want to spend, that we can probably spend. Well, maybe not this time, because I don't think it actually restarts. So let's, so I think that we've probably brought this down just a little bit, just enough. Um, Oh, 
Okay, so this is where it changes. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. Let's just go ahead and go to the next turn and see what happens. Okay, here it is. Alright, so. Health is better, health is better. Education is better. Poverty is going down a little bit. Crime kind of went up, that kind of sucks, but that's okay. Unemployment is steady. Okay, okay, okay. Urgent policy question about climate change. The United Nations Climate Change Conference signed a new protocol to limit the emissions of greenhouse gases in industrialized countries. Your country participated in the talks and drove a hard bargain order not to put too much strain on the economy. Still ratifying can be costly, limiting GDP growth and worker productivity. On the other hand, experts claim that this is the only way to save the environment. I think we need to ratify. Capitalists are gonna hate me, and I am a capitalist for the most part, but CO2 emissions are down. Great. Polls report. Um, so this is my approval rating. Damn. Okay, let's keep on going. Um, my approval rate is disappointing. If we believe the polls, we would get just 3% of the vote. Mm. Um, good news. We're doing good. Uh, Evangelical Alliance are holding town hall meetings to express their anger. Uh, and then the quote this time comes from Justin Trudeau. I was a high school teacher. I am a strong advocate for women's right, and I am not a woman. Um... And their effectiveness is considered to be adequate. Okay, so. Has this has come down a little bit? Okay, that's good. So, we want people to be happy with us, yes? Uh, we're, conservatives aren't gonna like us. Motorists. That's such, a, that's such an odd thing. Let's just look at how. So the poor really like me. Patriots really like me. The retired likes me. Socialists like me. State employees like me. The wealthy kind of like me. Farmers kind of like me. Ethnic minorities kind of like me. Capitalists don't really like me all that much. Uh, youth. So let's look at the capitalists. Um... Happiness, membership, income is staying the same. So their happiness is kind of being driven by unemployment benefits. Travis Chavez, Peter Torres, Molly Gray. Are those my cab members? Peter Torres, Alyssa Torres, Martin, Molly Gray, Travis Chavez. Okay. So let's find some people to make happy. Parents are going to be happy with... Yeah. Alright, so let's do... Let's put some money into some gun walls. Ooh, can't do that. Mm -hmm. Oh, so this is still going to call 16. Okay, so this is so then twelve. So legal so we have already legalized it. We don't want to legalize LSD heroin or all drugs right now, so that's okay. So we can keep cannabis legalized. Um So this is going to affect a lot of people that are probably going to both like it and not like it. But it's going to cost us some, some money. We 
right on that cusp. Alright, so let's apply those changes. It's so, it's so interesting, but let's, okay, so let's look at Gridlock. Uh, so what can we do? So let's look at road building. Let's just increase road building a bit. I think that's a safe thing, right? Everyone likes that. Um, so what can we do? So let's privatizing the space industry. So let's look at science funding. I'm okay giving a lot of science funding. 100% okay with it. <laughs> I like science. All right, so let's go ahead and hit that um that next button and let's see what happens. Ooh, my GDP is down, but that is because that I hit some things with the income tax. Crime is down as well. Yay. Oh goodness. Um so when sports or a business athletes need to check their contracts before speaking their mind. A groveling apology was issued to a foreign superpower who took exception to support being voiced for a protest movement in their country. Ugh. Ugh. You gotta work on those. Tonight's headline news all over the country. There are young, bright, intelligent students who this year will be denied the chance to study at university. Why? Well, the answer is simple. Those students come from poor families and with absolutely no money available from the government in the form of university grants, they are about to find out that education is not something that poor are entitled to in this country. It's a disgrace. It makes me ashamed to be a citizen. The government is denying me any hope for the future, one student tells us tonight in this heartbreaking report. Now, university grants, I'm a huge, 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 huge fan of. Um, assuming that is for, you know, things that are going to help. So I, can we implement it? Is that something that I can implement right now? I think it's under economy, maybe. Public services, probably, if I had to guess. University grants, how much political capital is this going to cost? 13. But you know what? I am not, honestly, I'm, I'm not. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. You can't make me not do it. So I think partial grants grant for all generous grants. So 10 billion versus 14 billion. I think it's worth it. 100%. 100%. Budget deficits. Uh, evangelicals are holding a town hall. So I think we probably... Mandatory microchip implant? What? What? Taser, secret court. So let's bounce up that CCTV. I'm only going to do it about three. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and spend that. How much is, oh, we can't do that. All right, so let's go ahead and close this back out because we're down to six again. Uh, but is this, go okay, this is still going down. Yes, snaps for Presidente. This is going down as well. Snaps for Presidente. <laughs> um, petrol tax. Ooh, okay, not even gonna cancel. Okay. I think that's gonna make me end my turn because... Ooh. You know. Next. Clicking to return to my government. All right, so we're doing a little bit better. 
Those of you not been keeping an opinion of, your, of our major financial backers, one of our wealthy donors has just got their support from the party. This may have an effect on our ability to campaign effectively unless we can find a replacement donor and keep them. What? Fundraising. Raising funds for your election campaign is done partly through activists, partly through wealthy donors. Activists join and leave over time based on your actions. Big donors are work the same way, but you're able to gauge their mood here. Maybe head off losing a big, a big donor. Electioneering. You can choose between different tabs with different aspects of your party and candidates' chances for re-election. Some options, such as speeches and manifestos, may not be applicable until just the election, so it's probably best to concentrate on running the covering for them. Wow. Okay. So we need to look at middle income and capitalist and some motorists. Okay. Okay, tutorial. Alright. Uh, they're adequate. We will out a first strike. Weapons of mass destruction are theoretically a weapon of last resort and work purely as a deterrent. If we will out first strike, this is simply a public way to reiterate our purpose in possessing such weapons. We do not have any expansionary plans, so clearly such weapons exist purely in a form of defense by deterring foreign aggression. Um, Making no comment, it would be crazy. You know what, let's just roll out first strike. See what happens. Ooh, not good. My popularity, man. Oh, this red line must be where. But at least it is going up. We are going up. We just may not be going up in where we need to be going up. Um, the achievements of lectioneering. There we go. So they're going to be winning next. 100%. Uh, speeches, okay. Um, strong leader. Okay, better perceptions, uh, undecided, and an ideal party. Uh, and apparently, you can compensate with media events to always media events. Too far from the election, their effects wear off over time. So, this is must be the. Okay, so we'll wait until there to do some media stunting. They do have to raise some. So, this is no longer a flashing issue, that makes me happy. Um, wow, okay. So we need to work on the, um, some things here, unfortunately. Wealthy capital, so what's going to affect both? So let's look at property taxes. Let's bring those down. How, how can, we, can we afford that? So we're going from uh, 15 billion down to there. But it doesn't really affect me. Well, it does affect me, but actually. Um, so let's just revert changes in clothes. And then let's look at the inheritance tax. Currently at 5%. It's going to cost me 3 to lower it. Ooh. Then it doesn't make that big of a deal for us, so what do we have to do? 
Uh, the big thing, okay, so what is this? Corporation tax. Who does it affect? Wealthy, socialist, capitalist, self employed. On the list. So we have the. So this is the share. If I remember correctly, like this is the share of the total population that are the super wealthy. So the ones that we probably. So this is everyone. Yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, so the ones that we need to work on that are low are probably maybe conservatives and religious group. We're not getting rid of gay marriage. Or gender transition, secularity of education, abortion, law, faith, you know. Um, capitalists are a major component, so I think that uh, intellectual property rights we can work on. Um, gig economy. A significant portion of jobs in our temporary in nature often scheduled at the last minute by apps. This gives some workers huge flexibility, but it mean, also means lack of job security and leads to accusations that employers are evading their responsibility for many workers. Ooh. Let's see what else we can work on for capitalists. Private prisons, we already have a good bit of. Um, well, let's see if we can up some... Yeah, so that actually doesn't do much. Um, capitalist. So let's maybe look at the corporation tax. Um, charity. Actually, I think this is going to be a good one to do here. So let's keep it right here at the, the cusp of this. Um, and apply some of these changes. Uh, and let's also work on some. Ethnic minorities, foreign aid. All right. So, what if? So, what effects do foreign aid have? Uh, bad for, I mean, good for everything but patriots. Okay. Let's do it right up here to the four. Go ahead and apply those changes. Um, middle income. Well, let's look at the health tax credits then. Let's bring those on up. Apply those changes. Alright, so we're down to 11 points. Wealthy is just such a small percentage of our... So let's look at middle income again. Um, and let's look at income tax. So we can bring income tax down a good bit and not spend too terribly much. So fine. All right, let's take a look. Urgently in private, oh God, she's gonna leave me. Currently working as your, is tired of serving and your government may wish to leave their position and possibly politics altogether. The ability to persuade them by taking steps further to please their core supporters, middle income workers, and liberals. That is actually okay with me. So let's look at this policy. How much is it going to cost me? 14 of my 21%, but you know what? So consumer right, you know what? Implement it. Uh, 
um, child labor law. Too many of our younger citizens were leaving school early to work in order to make and take to take up low paying jobs, maybe even skipping school to work full time when they should be learning. The laws is currently very weak with regards to preventing companies from employing under 16s in a full time position. This proposed law would make it a criminal offense to knowingly employ anyone under 16 for more than five hours a week. I think compromise is better. You know, we'll see. We're gonna see. Um, my polls are shooting up though. People are happy. So they're still holding their town hall. Ugh. All right. So the middle income is actually fairly happy with me at the moment. Um, so we need some of the larger demographics. So I mean, it's obviously lots of law and order here. Um, family planning, general genital mutilation. Mm. I'm just going to ban it for male and female here. Or maybe not. You know what? We're just let's just keep going. Military spending. Um. Is that antisocial behavior? Armed police force down for liberals, upper state employees. So let's look at liberals. <laughs> Freedom of the press, private prisons go down. Well, let's look at the gay marriage. I only have four. I mean, I only have seven left to spend. So let's. Let's do some freedom of the press. Corruption goes down, liberalism goes up. Okay, great. Alright, so I think we're done on that one. We're doing very good in education and poverty. My transport minister is tired of serving my government. Let's look at this. Um, carbon capture and storage. It's going to cost me... Alright, let's do it. Yeah, let's just do like a happy little me in there. Money siphoned off by a former leader has been recovered from foreign bank accounts. As the level of corruption in our government in our society is reduced, our enforcement agencies are unimpeded to right wrongs. That's fantastic. Another major donor. Ooh. -oh. We are the purple and the Dominion is catching up with us, so we... <sighs> Goodness, okay. Uh, words of Haley Baker describing the daily suffering of his elderly mother. The government opposes right to die. I think we're right to die. We don't have no capital for this. Okay, so I think something that we really need to work on. Where is the strong leader person over here? They are not over here. Okay. Um. 
Yeah, I mean, like, it is definitely... So we are going to need some... Uh, the transport minister doesn't like me very much. People did really good at campaigning. Oh, so are they. Oh. Alright, this person's not good at campaigning, but this person is. I'm gonna fire them. Let's look at the potentials first. Okay. Uh, so we're gonna fire her. And we're going to hire her. Most of the people are waning at the moment, so it's okay. Do we have any potential good uh, people with a loyalty? We're all free, please. Campaign experience effectiveness, I mean... Go ahead and fire them, and let's just look at someone that has good loyalty, or decent loyalty at least. They don't have a lot of experience, but that's okay. Let's hire. This person is waning, but we will see. Let's see what happens. Alright. So let's go ahead and I'm really not going to change that. Um... Oh, it's gonna cost a lot. Okay, never mind. Yeah, for that. Um. So what are so? All right. So my, I'm just really not gonna do any of those. I mean, I, this maybe I have to. I'm gonna have to. What are we looking at for fam for abortion law here? I really oh, I really can't do anything there, so it's okay. I am not mad about that. <laughs> oh, I'm really not. Uh. So what? So let's look at this. So let's look at um. Look at the telecom industry. So military spending, good patriots, good to save employees, bad for liberals. Oh, why is this? You have, like, I've only been playing this for an hour now, and I have a hell of a lot more respect for politicians than I did before. So, if that tells you anything about this game thus far, it is, um, yeah, it's, it's making me realize a lot of things that I just wasn't realizing before, I guess. Um, so let's look at some liberal things that we can work on, maybe. The intelligence service is bad, gated communities. What is the child benefit? So if we do, uh, let's let's not maximize it, but let's 
raise it up a bit. So there's that, or that really does, but that affects a lot of people, I think, so I think it's gonna be okay. To spend some capital on. So let's see what happens. I fired two ministers and fired and rehired. Um, so let's see if we can get them to yeah, see what happens. Crime is down, education is also down, GDP is up. Uh, this is education though. So we have education value over time. Um, Prison overcrowding is no longer an issue. Glad to be of service. Glad to be of service. They're still holding a town hall. Um, so let's spend a little bit more there. And how much is it? Oh, we do not have enough capital for that. Okay. Wires, I hope. So what is our needle exchange program? My achievements. Um, citizenship for sale. That would be terrible. Diplomatic service going beyond just having an ambassador and secretary in a foreign country. Full diplomatic service. Uh, winter fuel subsidy, which you know. It costs a lot. So there's welfare here and alcohol oh wait, wait alcohol consumption, okay. Um it doesn't really affect anyone in particular, but So let's see what we're looking at in terms of these dudes over here. Alright, alright. So people who are particularly good at campaigning, this person's not. That person's really not. And they're not loyal, they're not effective. Um, so I think... We're gonna go for this guy. Well, this is a Patriot guy, but he's at least gonna be loyal. Fire him. Um, I think she'd probably do pretty well. Let's, let's get her in there. Tax Chancellor. So let's do some experience. We have someone with minor experience. Alright. So middle income is not liking me a lot at all right now. Their support is actually going down, but let's also look at uh, my electioneering here. At fundraising, so we have someone that's happy, but so if we reduce the income tax, I think we could probably get some of them back. us a lot but, but I think that that would actually do a whole lot more than, than other things. We have military spending. Where's our income coming from? Government borrowing. Great. Um, I 
Uh, so let's look at some high earnings, environmentalist, membership, and income. So this seems fairly good. So let's do that. And let's. Who is that? Please use the request to build up a global database. Criminal only, let's do that. Ooh, liberals really didn't like that. The violent crime goes down and, and crime goes down. Another major donor! No! Oh no. The Dominion has taken off. Oh no. Oh no, oh no, oh no. We should ban Tenacious Plastics. And that would be the best situation. Um, let's just continue. Well, at least we are now at my average approval. We're getting on up there. We're getting on up there. Aaron Rand, Donald Trump's up here. Joseph Stalin's over here. I actually don't know who that is. So I'm slowly moving away from the capitalist socialist, or capitalist liberal, and moving more towards a social liberalist. Li yeah, liberalist, I guess. Okay. Um, so we do have some capital right now that we can spend. We can stop focusing as much on the poor because the poor really likes us, but we need the well, middle income has come up a lot. Uh, we need to kind of focus a bit more on capitalists, I do think. Um, so let's see some things that we can um, make better. Oh, wait, that's capitalist there. No. Do not. How many turns do we have left? Eight more turns. Okay. So whenever I get to my election, it's going to be when I end the stream. So um, I'm not going to rush it or anything, but I do need to, you know, kind of get it all through here soon. Hehe, <laughs> get it all. Alright. Socialists, the retired, capitalists don't like that very much. Um, conservatives, we can probably work a little bit on this. Let's get it. Give them a little bump there. 
So if I do bump this up, then we're not even looking at it that much. Um. Okay. All right. Oh, I thought they were black belts. All right, all right. Um, so let's work on some intellectual property rights. Why do these youths not like this? But we're gonna go ahead and pull this down just a little bit. Um, what is this? Is this space program? I mean, and, and I can see now, you know, where so many people come in to, you know. I'm gonna have to really focus on some of these. So let's look at state housing. We can pull it down a fair amount, I think. Alright, so then with this our next turn. One of our prominent diplomats has been appointed Secretary General of the United Nations that will become the spokesperson leader of the most powerful global organization acting as a world moderator. <laughs> Shit, that's awesome! Yay, yes. Reddit rating downgraded. Ooh. Major national credit agencies have downgraded the status of your government's debt. This is likely to have a knock-on effect as on GDP as foreign companies become wary of investing in our economy. It will also result in the rate of we pay on our debt rising. There is there is a good chance this will upset our capitalist voters too. We should take action to regain cap regain the ratings. Oof. So this is oh excuse me. So our debt does keep going up, so we do need to figure out that. This report tonight shines light on the shocking level of fraud in our welfare system. Um well, fraud department cost four points. Oh, yeah. Implement that. Okay. So let's look at people with experience. Oof. Poor minorities. Oh, this is their desired job. Okay, okay, all right. So, well, this guy. All right. Cool, 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 cool. be right back, I have to party.
and back. I'm actually going to move myself to up here. I know it's still not a great place for me to be, but you know, I will make myself slightly smaller. And I will move. All right. There we go. I did put up a a prediction. Should anyone want to uh, attempt and see if uh, they can get this. Alright, so let's try to work on that a little bit. I know that we are working a bit. Alright, so let's see what middle class is going to like. So welfare, fraud department, we are going to be good there. I think so. Let's look at some other policies that we could possibly implement right now. Um... City farms, farmers, we don't really have farmers on them. Wait, we do, they're a small minority. Um, if that's, well, there's not really any potential. Who? Um, let's see, so rural development. It cost us a lot. Smart meter. State telecoms, tax shelters. So what's going to give us the money? Recreational drugs tax. I kind of like that. Um, I mean, it's not going to be great with the youths, but, you know. Let's look at this. How much is this going to cost me? Okay, well, let's just do that. Apply some changes there. Um... So gridlock, traffic congestion, environmental protests. So that she's a youth person, she's a patriot person. Uh, the youth kind of like me, so that's good. Patriots really like me. Um, so press freedom. So we've already kind of done, but let's go ahead and bump that up anyway. Um, military spending. So let's look at some other things that we can do to bring in some money. Um, tobacco tax. It's about as high as it's going to get, I think. Um, this is the income tax. This is going to be the payroll tax. Sales tax. Health credit. Let's see. So what is this? Uh oh. 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 
All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Okay, so socialists like it. Retired people like it. I think if we do low, I think we should be alright. Um. Oh, wait. I have no political time. I have no political prowess left. Oh goodness. Okay. Terrorists in the Middle East have started to attack vital pipelines owned by our company, which directly provide us fuel in order to protect oil supply. The army like to start surgical attacks. I think that's okay. We have a new party donor. Donor. Uh, so let's look at this donor. This donor has sympathies with the poor and the religious. Whoa. <laughs> Great. Uh, let's see. So let's look at our cabinet members here. We can fire this guy. Fire that guy. So let's hire the new tax minister. All right. The political prowess for the night. Um. Put as low as we possibly can. Ooh. Ooh. So let's go ahead, can we... Well, honestly, I think that it would be in our best interest to use that. So let's go ahead and end our turn there. Alright. Police officers have arrested a con man who is staying in our country illegally under normal circumstances. He'd be eligible to be deported back to his country of origin. He would be likely tortured. He arrived illegally and has operated as a criminal. I mean, I think that, yeah. Poor and religious, poor and religious. Great. Karen Williams is now a donor twice. I feel like that's interesting. Cyberbullying. So we need to. <sighs> I don't really know what we can do with that. So let's look at technology. Um, what is technological advances? Skills shortages. Can we add this? 
think that is going to be good. Alright, so now we need to work on this. Now I thought that there was a health thing over here. Food standards agency. So we can work on that a bit. And balances that just a bit, alright. Capitalists do not like state schools. Free school meals. Poor parents. Okay, so let's bump that up. Um, state postal service. So I am a huge proponent of USPS. Uh. <laughs> Uh, alright, let's go ahead and skip this one. Or not skip it, but you know. Alright, so GDP is going down, unfortunately. Civil servants voted to strike over pay when, gov when your employees become not someone to resign if I met a competitor with, job with the competitor. Civil service is also doing a thankless task, but remuneration to support the reasonable standards of living. Another party donor. Yos! Um, yeah, so we're getting out of there, eventually. Tonight's headline, tragic news, state execution of mistaken identity, oh, so death penalty, oh, that's a, But I do think that that's like a. That'll probably save us a bit. Oh, my popularity, my popularity went up sharply and then back down. Ooh. Um. So we do have some stability. That's good. That's good. That's good. Um. The capitalist is still up there. Everyone is not happy with me, so it's not a great thing. That's going to cost a lot of political capital. Okay. So let's look and see what we can do. Now there was, where is, the, where is cyberbullying, pollution, uncompetitive economy, skills shortage, I guess we're not quite at crisis level yet, I don't know, um, working week, labor laws, We can spend our capital on this. Religious plot? Our secret services? have been watching the group of religious extremists known as the Angels of Heavenly Justice for some time, and recent statements by the leader have given us cause for concern. The organization has become more militant, often advocating violence and direct attacks against enemies of God, and specifically your government. We believe this represents a material threat to our security, and we should keep it close. Okay, Intel screen. So these are violent radicals. Membership is up. So I think one thing that we can do 
is probably wiretap, but we do not have that ability. ID cards do not have the political capital. CCTV cameras, we can dispense in. Spend some little capital on this. But we do not have the political capital to do it. Okay. Okay. I need more capital, okay. Let's do a media stunt for compassion. Uh, visit aftermath of a flood. Let's do this one. Let's also do one of the. Oh, that's right, because I just spent a lot of political capital there. Uh, appoint senior judge. One of our most senior and respected judges has died, and now we need to make a choice for his replacement. An individual will sit. Appoint Edgar Lopez. Strong support of human rights, making many landmark rulings and individual rights and liberties. He is also seen as a strongly pro consumer and not afraid to challenge large corporations. Alice Reed is a household name thanks to her many famous rulings concerning violent crimes and her often outspoken views on the harsh sentences that she feels should be applied to thieves, muggers, and shoplifters. <sighs> it's a hard decision, though. That's legit a hard decision. So let's. Let's see what happens. Assassination attempt failed. Secret Service earned their pay today when they were... Then they, blah, 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 blah. Do that again. Uh, earned their pay today when they arrested a carload of what appeared to be religious fanatics planning an attack on you and the cabinet. The van filled with explosive small arms and was... And small arms was stopped by our vigilant police after intelligence intercepted our security personnel. It seems there were a number of religious extremists determined to remove the current government. This lot calls themselves the Army of God. Van Day, the Army of God! <sighs> Where is the Army of God? They're not here, so I'm going to assume the heavenly justice things. Uh, major donor abandons policy. Not surprising. It's not the call. It's not Cameron Williams, though. Situation imminent. We're okay. Campaign speeches. So we need to really focus on. on um, like high membership. So we have low membership here. A society that works for everyone so we can bring back, bring people back together. Rich and poor, North and South, urban and rural. Let's give this speech. This screen shows how your results for your speech. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah! 
So conservatives already don't like me that much anyway. Liberals... I need more liberal than conservative voters right now, so... Go ahead, let's go to the... Oh yeah, I forgot that's that one. Alright, terrorist leader killed! The leader of a terrorist cell has been killed in a drone strike orchestrated by our military. They were taking refuge in a sympathetic nation complicit in allowing their radical faction to plot and conduct terror attacks against our citizens. Even though this is a great day for the continued security and freedom of our country, there are those that consider our methods to be imperialist. So that would be ethnic minorities and foreign relations are down, but 12% up on everyone. Religious plot. Our security services have been watching a group of extremists known as the Angels of Heavenly Justice. Same one had before. Um. Uh, let's see. Okay. Thanks for the advice. Oof. Ugh. We're not BBB. Um. Cannot promise that. <laughs> so we can raise human development. That's easy enough. Uh, so we can go ahead and try to do a, a media stunt here. Judo with special forces. Be interviewed while jogging. Um, windsurfing photo op. What, this is like Vladimir Putin's like media stunts. Play in charity. Okay. Let's just do that one. Campaign sex house! Okay. So we just have six more. Um, and I bet... What was the campaign promise that I made again? Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. Maybe why the government does this. Um, there was, um, uh, was it this one? No, what is it? Oh, wait, no, I think it's one of these. Maybe not. What was my campaign promise? Oh, shit. <laughs> I forgot what, what my campaign promise was. Oopsie. Um, all right, so we'll just kind of have to come back. What can I not see? No, wait, maybe it was a manifesto. Human development. Uh, so this metric has three dimensions across the entire population, their health, their education, their income. So we can raise, we can look at health. I really do want to be able to 
Arts funding. Although we need to we need to be raising money here. I don't want to alienate that particular party any more than I already have. I know, that's not going to be great, but... Shit, everything's in the red. Election results! Ah, okay. Okay. Alright, it's time for the election. Time for the election. Let's see if we do this. I don't I don't know about that though. <sighs> yeah, we gotta lose. Lifespan didn't increase, the environment health. Dang. Well, that was a super fun way of starting my first game of Democracy 4. I think that that was just super, 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 super fun. Uh, thank you so much for joining me. Like I said, I am going to go to bed. But uh, please be here for my Saturday 18-hour marathon stream where I'm probably going to be playing some Democracy 4 along with The Witcher and maybe some Roller Coaster Tycoon. Um, I'll be playing with Fantabulous1221. We're going to be playing some of the Raft Baby or Escape from Tarkov or Dead by Daylight and definitely The Forest. Super excited to play The Forest again. But until next time, make sure you are doing good for someone else. And I love you all. Bye.